Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is February 5th, 2018, and today is Monday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we're starting out at 11.30 South African time, services PMI number coming out of the UK. And then at 5 p.m. South African time, we have ISM non-manufacturing PMI number coming out of the United States, which is followed by 6 p.m. President Draghi will be speaking, and that's sure to affect the euro. Now, these numbers are not... You know, the most important numbers, but in light of what's going on recently with the debacle of the Dow last Friday, some inflation fears that have hit the market, and a little bit of more profit taking, I think, more than anything else, these numbers may, you know, move the markets a little bit more. But let's see what's been happening in the market specifically. So we're starting here with the EURUSD, and I would have expected it to uh, retrace even further. Okay, we're trading right now at 124, 16 ish, 51 ish level, excuse me off only about 100 pips of our our highs okay of 125 22 ish level maybe even less 75 pips so you know i would have expected a bigger retracement which is kind of indicating that there's some relative strength in the euro versus the dollar okay now we're hitting this a little bit of this you know downwards trend but it's really not a downwards trend okay we have support at 124 26 ish level and if we do break this out on the 124 80 ish level i think we could break out higher and then challenge the upper range if there's going to be a correction in the dow Okay, now everybody's looking at the Dow and looking at the DAX, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But as you can see, the currencies are relatively strong. Okay, I would have expected the dollar to get a lot stronger here, but it didn't. The euro is maintaining its strength and not breaking down. So this is something that is raising a red flag as to maybe the market is just, you know, taking a little bit of a breather. Maybe people are just profit taking and there'll be, you know, a nice bounce. So just uh, be aware of it. And don't chase it on the way down, okay? Just and just keep an eye on this as this is unfolding. Looking at the GBP USD, we're looking at a weekly chart, and you can see we're all you know off of our highs just mildly, okay? Not even, okay? Not even retracing just a bit. And again, trying to show you that the GBP is very strong versus the dollar. The dollar should have gotten stronger here with the you know debacle or the sell-off of the Dow, and it's not, okay? And this is raising a red flag for me. USDs are also trading above 12. And this is expected, okay? This was really expected because we were, we're making ourselves a nice uh, line, uh, trend line at 1182, never breaking it. And then finally, you know, with the catalyst of this news coming out, we broke out higher. Whereas if we look at the Aussie US dollar here, the Aussie did break down here, okay? This was expected. And this is what I anticipated with the selling off the Dow, that the dollar would get you know, significantly stronger versus the, the the Aussie USD, and it did. Whereas with the euro and the GBP, it did not. Okay, so you got to make this relative strength analysis for yourself just to, you know, if there's going to be a breakout on the upside, then I would look for the GBP and the euro to actually buy. Okay, so this is something that's raising a red flag for me, but, you know, as the day unfolds, I'm sure we'll get more clarity as to the direction of the markets. Looking at gold, not much doing, okay? I would have expected this also to explode, but it didn't, okay? It's sitting at 1332, which again is kind of giving me the perspective that the Dow is going to bounce. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it's going to bounce, okay? It is still in an upwards trend. And I know I'm talking about the Dow, not getting to it yet, but you know, just to give you an overall analysis of the general market, you know, we have to go through one by one. And we're looking here at the uh, gold, the price of gold did not bounce here as the debacle happened last Friday, uh, the massive sell-off. And so I'm, I'm raising a flag here. Okay, we may That may mean that we're going to go further down and test maybe 1300 as the week progresses. Looking at oil, oil's holding steady at 64.55. We bounced off of it at 64.90. Now, this is where I would uh, anticipate that we'd be trading between these two ranges, about 64, 60 ish level and 66, 40 ish level. Okay, so I think that we're finding ourselves a new trend line, okay, between these two between these two pivot points, okay, between 66.43 and 64.61. And I'd look for, you know, for it to trade within this range, okay, and, and look to buy the bottom of the range, sell the top of the range. And we had massive moves here, as you could see here last week, but we didn't break further down, which implies to me that we're going to go even higher, okay? And that's the, you know, general consensus there. Now, let's jump to the Dow. Now, you could see this on a four-hour chart, nosedive, right, as the number came out on Friday morning, the NFP. Okay, there are some inflationary worries, you know, you could ascribe this 
to any part of the news, okay? But at the end of the day, it's because, you know, people are taking profit taking, okay? Now, if we look over the last year, this is nothing, okay? We were here last year in 2011 where, you know, this is the first red bar that we've had since, you know, sometime in uh, 2016. So, you know, on a weekly on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, we've been rallying every single month over the past, you know, the past year. So, you know, for it to, for the market to give back or to retrace, you know, a thousand plus points, 1,200 points is not the end of the day. Okay, we're trading now. We're we're opening down this morning at 25,200 ish level, as you can see here. Uh, we're gap down, but I would actually look to you know fade this a little bit. You know, anticipate a little bit of a move up. Okay, um, as we try to you know bounce off of this, and I believe that we will. Just have to be careful, you know, the markets are going to be volatile for the next couple of days until we find ourselves, you know, trading within a range. I'm going to jump back to a daily chart just for you to see this, you know, and in all fairness, okay, like I said, we've been in an uptrend and we finally took a little bit of, you know, some money off the table. Now, you know, resistance level at 25,624-ish level, I would say uh, anywhere between these two levels, the 14 and 30-day average would be a resistance. Support, our next support level is 24,879. Okay, so just keep that in mind, you know, if we do continue to sell off. Now, what is this concerning is the DAX, okay? The DAX made a double top here, as you can see. Now, we mentioned this last week that we had anticipated it to go up even further, and it didn't, and it finally broke on the downside. Now, this I did anticipate, okay, but we're breaking below our support level previous resistance, okay, right here, all right, so we may actually sell off and continue to sell off to 12,463-ish level, and that would be my next, my next support would be the low 1,200, 200-ish level on the downside, so keep an eye on that, and we may bounce today, so you got to keep, you know, a sharp eye to see, you know, any sort of movement, you know, if there's any sort of volume being, you know, backed up for it um, if we're going to have those bounces today and you know these are the type of trading opportunities that come once you know once a year or a couple of times a year that you really want to bank on and be on the right side this is fred razak want to wish you guys a great trading day